Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything. I'm coming back at you with another Wargaming Manager video. In this video, we're going to go ahead and continue, um, ex continue my uh, digital tabletop that I'm working on. Uh, as you know, I've got I went out and got the, the plexiglass. <clears throat> I cut it down lengthwise to the right amount. Right, I cut cut it down right. But I still have this two inch gap right here that I still need to cut off and I'll be doing that probably later this afternoon. All right, now, like I mentioned, I didn't have enough one by fours. Uh, so I went out and bought another one by four and uh, it's a little bit different. It's got sharper edges. These had rounded edges, no big deal. A little bit of sandpaper, no problem. Now what I want to do is I want to take the TV out of this so that you can see how the TV is in there. Now I drilled a hole in the side of my frame here so that this electrical plug will fit through it, but I made that hole probably just a little bit too small. Just wiggling it, got it. Okay. All right, let me get this TV just, I'm just gonna set it off to the side. You saw the TV was in the frame. Now I put I put a couple of pieces here where the legs of the TV would normally be. So when the TV sits inside there, if I ever stand it up like this, it'll sit on that. Plus it gives it a little bit of a gap between this back bottom plate and the bottom of the TV, allowing some air to circulate. I also drilled some random holes on there just to um, allow air circulation. Plus, like I said, I drilled the one inch hole on the side here to allow for the power cord to come through. Okay, so what I did was I put the TV face down on the table, then I built the frame around it. And then once the TV was, uh, once the frame was finished, I went in and took some uh, one by ones, because I had some of these, I guess they're one and a half by ones or two, I'm sorry, two by ones um, or one by twos, however you want to call it. And I just cut them into strips. I didn't, I didn't measure them, didn't need to be measured. With the TV laying in there, I just laid these down on top of the back of the television, right? <clears throat> well, here, let me do this. Let me lay the TV down. And then what I did was I built the frame around the TV and then with the frame built around the TV, I laid these pieces of wood down, just let them sit right there on the, on the frame of the television, and then I just put a couple of screws on each side. So now the TV can't fall out the back side because these are holding it in, but it can fall off the front side, but that's where, what I need to, oh yeah, and then I just run this cabling through the hole there. But, uh, the problem is, the TV will be able to fall out the front side because I don't have the plexiglass uh, put on just yet. So that's, that's really my next step. Um, but before I do that, what I was hoping to do is spray this down. I wanna, I wanna color it. I don't like it being just this flat wood color. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna prime it uh, and then uh, maybe just prime it black. Maybe just make it black. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and spray this, and then I'll be back. All right, I went through all my primers and paint, and I settled on uh, Deep Forest. Uh, it's a kind of a greenish-blue look. Uh, let me go get it. This is the color. It's kind of a, like I said, it's kind of a blue-green. Let me go ahead and get my paint out of the way. Thank you. 
the main thing I wanted painted was the outer edge. The inside, not so much, and the yeah, the inside didn't really need to be painted. Rotate it over, actually, flip it over. these little clear bumpers to kind of put around the edge here to kind of lift the plexiglass off of the TV itself um, but I don't know if I want to do that I think I just want to lay the plexiglass directly and screw it directly into the wood here and then maybe put these bumpers on the bottom Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm sizing the top to the wood, lining it up so that when I drill holes in the plexiglass and put it into the wood, everything will be lined up good, goodly. <laughs> now I'm going to take this plexiglass, I'm going to put it on my cutting board, and I'm going to use my box knife here to score it, and I'll be right back. Give me this. Alright, so I got my drill, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the uh, plexiglass of where I'm going to drill holes. And uh, I'm also going to have to countersink these holes, holes because I'm going to use these uh, lock screws that go down inside there. So the initial hole, I'm going to turn off the microphone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute it because it'll be loud, and I don't want you to be deaf. Let's find my marker. And eventually, I'm going to put a handle on the top of this so I can carry it around uh, or I'm going to put two little handles on the side just depends on where the weight can be supported best okay I think that's in a good spot so I want to put one there and there and maybe every couple of Alright, so this is, seems like it's going to work fine. We're just going to have to screw it in all the way. But I'm not going to do that until I peel off the film that's on the back side of this. So right now I'm just going to uh, drill all the holes first. Then I'm going to countersink them like I did these. And then we'll peel off the back, lay it down, and screw these things in. Okay, so let me mute this so that you guys don't hear all crazy noises. Alright, so now I got all the holes drilled. So now what we need to do is go to the countersinking bit. Now this bit, all I'm doing is drilling in just just the tip so it it doesn't go all the way through it just bevels the edge so that when i put the screws in they don't go all the way through either okay so really all i do is just barely cut anything let me mute you
All right, so right now what I'm gonna do now is clean off the workbench area and then peel the plexi, uh, the film off the bottom side, screw everything down, and then uh, and then peel the top piece off. And we should be done. All right, give me a second. All right, now something be that you want to do to your television screen before you seal it up forever with a plexiglass sheet, you're probably going to want to use some glass cleaner, get rid of any of the smudges that there might be on there from from you handling it or or you know the dust or any of that. Just get all that off of there. All right. So now the screen is clean. Now I'm going to take my plexiglass screen off of the underside. Okay, we're going to lay it on top. all the holes as I go to drill them the screws in I'm gonna peel a portion of this plastic off the part that is over the holes that I'm putting in and then as I go I'm gonna peel slowly until I just have a piece of plex uh, film in the center and then I just pull it off All right, so I'm going to have to mute you. All right, we've got it assembled, and I've got the plexiglass on there, which should keep it from getting scratched. Um, I don't know, the plexiglass itself might scratch, but uh, that's okay, we'll go with it. And to get, I'm gonna show how it works. I'm gonna have to stand it up. Now, I do plan on maybe putting handles on the side here just to make it easier to carry or something I'm not sure but I need to take my okay just to give you a full view of it okay you can see you can see the front of it right now let's take a look at the back okay so So we got the TV sitting in there, and then they got these wooden pieces along here and over here, keeping the TV from falling out. All right, okay, so far so good. I'm gonna run my HDMI out the side here. But I'm also gonna Plug it in now. I thought about plugging it into the side here, but I don't think that actually comes up as a channel. I'm going to try it. 
going to try it and we'll see what happens. If not, we'll put it on one of the other HDMIs. Plugging it in. Now I plan to use, uh, as I probably have already showed you, I plan to use this Chromebook as my video input. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so that works. Now let me bring this website over, fill the screen with it, as you can see. Now those squares are too gigantic. This being a standard D&D &D model. Oh wow, he's floating over the TV. Uh, okay. So I need to... Whoa. That should work fine. So like, figures, let's see if I can uh, get this camera to look at it a little differently. Yeah, that looks great. You know, and you can have all the figures on the map. Now it does look like they're up from, you know, they're a good half an inch off the map, but that's okay. I think that should be fine. We'll still be able to figure out what square they're in. You know what I mean? And then, you know, as they explore the dungeon or what have you, me as the referee, I can scroll this depending on where in the dungeon they are. You know what I'm saying? That's just awesome right there. All right, well, thanks for coming out and watching me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. And plus, you can't hear through this that very well, so what I need to do is maybe... from the game but I'm thinking 60 is pretty good
close that. That sounds pretty good. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out this uh, virtual table um, box construction. Um, I, I, I think I made a few mistakes making this, uh, to be honest. Um, I should have, I should have maybe got a different type of plexiglass because this plexiglass cracked a couple of times here, 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 and there. Uh, it also might be because I uh, screwed these holes in too close to the edge of the plexiglass. Um, also, I probably could have countersunk better. Um, putting this, the boards together, I could have done a better job. But um, overall, I think it's a pretty good box and it's going to be a pretty good TV on the uh, table. And we'll have a lot of hours of role playing on the TV. All right. Thanks for coming out and checking out this video. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. If you want to donate, maybe to help me build more projects like this, hit the PayPal me link in the description below. And I'll catch you next time.